everybody, Clint here with Classic Firearms, out here today at Take Aim Training and Range, and we're here to talk about triggers, but more specifically some high-end triggers, right? Everybody knows the name Geisley when it comes to AR triggers, or like their Super Scar trigger in the Scar 20S. Fantastic stuff. Also, Timney. Timney makes some phenomenal stuff. Check both of those brands out on our website. That's what we've got in our current giveaway, the MPX. But there's a new trigger on the market from our friends over at Brigade Manufacturing who make the BM9, the BM9 with the Echo Trigger, also the BM9 Carbine, and just phenomenal guns. Love those guys and they take pride in their work. But now they are making drop-in triggers that look like this, one solid state unit, very easy to install. All you gotta do is just uninstall your factory trigger, or if you're building from the ground up, just drop this guy in. Very simple to install, and which makes life very easy, and also I'm a huge fan of, right? But something I noticed when I dropped it in to my Colt here, this is the flat face version. They do make the curved version, as you just saw. This is the flat face version, and go ahead and hit a like if you think it looks like the leg from A Christmas Story, the nice little lamp. You know what I'm talking about? It, it totally does. There's the hill, there's the calf. Yeah, it totally does. All right, anyway, when I dropped it in here, my initial thought is with those drop-in, you know, single state, or sorry, single state, solid stage, or solid state units, is what I'm trying to say. Um, I noticed that the trigger pins would just kind of fall right through and that always kind of bothers me. That means I have to go buy specific trigger pins that are, you know, either anti-rotating or they lock down onto themselves. And it's like kind of a burden when you're already spending good money on the trigger and having to spend extra money just to be able to install it correctly, especially if you're not told that you need to do that. Annoying, right? Well, Brigade thought of that and in this trigger, I'm actually going to go ahead and separate the upper and lower here for you and to show you guys in the trigger they thought of that and you'll notice just ahead of the safety you see the safety just ahead of that you're going to see two holes there for on either side of the actual trigger pack and those are actually for two set screws that you tighten down with some included blue loctite and that applies enough tension on the trigger pins to where they are not going anywhere i tighten them down just enough not too much really and uh yeah those trigger pins are solid they they are not going anywhere so very cool that they thought of that so you don't actually have to replace your trigger pins that come with your rifle or pistol or whatever you're dropping this into uh, so you can actually use your factory ones which is awesome i'm a huge fan that they did that cool so in comparison to other triggers on the market that are commonly known, like the Geisley over here, this is the Geisley uh, single stage or super single stage, whatever they call it. And this is also the flat face trigger. And I am a huge fan of this trigger. And I brought the Geisley out here to actually compare against the Brigade because I just kind of wanted us, you know, something to compare it to. So let's go ahead and let's just ghost this guy really quick, show you guys here. Geisley, we're gonna apply a little bit of pressure. Boom, that doesn't take much at all. And then the reset, nice and quick. Now this is probably one of the highest end triggers. Uh, I would say probably one of the highest triggers, highest end triggers and highest quality that you can get for your AR. And like I said, I'm a huge fan of it, all right? And actually, let's go ahead and just get a trigger pull weight on this guy. So again, we can just have something to compare to. It might not be all that fair because like I said, it's Geisley. But if you wanna be with the best, you gotta be able to compete with the best, right? So let's go ahead and take a look here and let's just apply a little bit of pressure. Boom. And what is that, about two pounds? 1.13 <laughs> ounces there. All right, so pretty cool. All right, let's just go ahead and get one more reading really quick on this guy. Nice, so one pound, 14 ounces. Guys, that is a light trigger, <laughs> super light, all right? Now the Brigade, <clears throat> I'm excited to see where this one is at. So let's go ahead and let's go this guy just so you guys can see what we're working with here. And we'll see we've got just no take up. That is it. You're already at the wall. That is nice. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the reset. Nice. All right. So a little bit of travel on the reset, but that feels really good. And let's see what we're at as far as weight wise. Let's go ahead and start applying some pressure here. There we go, so three pounds, 12 ounces, not bad, I'm liking that. <clears throat> Let's fill it one more time here. A 
right at four pounds. Not bad guys. For something that I would consider to be kind of like a duty firearm, that is probably about right where I wanna be. When you think about like a mil spec trigger, oh, <laughs> those things are anywhere between like five pounds to nine pounds, right? Depending on <laughs> the trigger, of course. So they get really heavy. So both of these I would take any day of the week. Like I said, we've got the MPX out here with the Timney because Timney is also a very popular trigger brand. And I just kind of wanted to show it off some too. And we can, why not? Sig knows what they're doing here. And they were like, hey, we're not gonna make a trigger as good as, uh, as Timney here. So let's just throw it into our MPX uh, Copperhead. And that's what they did with our current giveaway. So let's go ahead and check this guy out just so you guys can see. <laughs> barely anything and then the reset nice i mean guys it's just super sweet all right so what's cool about the brigade again being a solid unit like it is a uh, solid like a solid state hard drive that keep my mind keeps going there uh, but all it is, is is one piece that you have to drop in it's very easy to install also to the price point the guys is coming in at about the mid 200 so it's not a cheap trigger by any means and then most of the other higher end triggers on the market are coming in about the same right take about a hundred dollars even more of that off and that's where you're at about as far as the brigade goes so something a lot more affordable but still let's see if it'll perform though that's the biggest question because performance is kind of the big deal right so let's just drop a couple of rounds here with the guys lead because why not and just show you guys how it feels how it shoots and uh yeah let's do it let's just take a couple of rounds here again you're gonna hear that nice quick reset on this guy Good, feels good, feels like it'll work just fine, right? Cool, now let's fill this brigade. I'm excited to shoot this guy some here. <laughs> let's see. All right, let's go for it. I like it, guys. That, that feels really good. Yeah, all right, cool. No hiccups or anything like that. So that makes me feel good about it. And I'm actually, uh, Let's try something really quick. I've got two mags loaded up here, five rounds each. Now, obviously the Geisley has a little has a little bit lighter pull to it. And I like the little bit more resistance that I'm feeling on this guy here. So let's go ahead and let's just do a little head to head. I'm expecting to be faster with this guy, but how much faster for a trigger that costs almost $300 versus one that's far more affordable. Let's just see what type of uh, times we're getting here. So let's just go ahead and load up one more mag. Five rounds each. Let's just see how it goes, all right? Whenever this thing goes, again, I'm not doing anything for accuracy, I'm just going for speed on this guy. So uh, let's just see what happens. All right, so five rounds, 0.96. Okay, cool. So we got five on the counter there, just under a second. Let's see if we can get something similar or close to with the Brigade. I'm thinking, I think I can do better. We'll see. All right, so let's go for it here. Clip that guy back in. <laughs> 0 0.94. Uh, that little bit of a difference, I'd say they're just right on par with each other, guys. Now, also too, of course, a big difference is this is a rifle and I'm able to use the stock right up against everything here. I've got four points of contact, one, two, three, four, right? And then this being a pistol. <laughs> and uh, because of this little guy here, I'm not using this as a stock, right? So that might have something to do with it, but with how light the 5.56 caliber recoils, I don't think so. So with that being much of a difference, right? But. Uh, Ultimately, I'm very happy with how the Brigade is performing. And uh, granted, we've only got a couple of rounds to it, but so far, so good. I plan on running quite a few more rounds to it, probably a few hundred. My goal would be a thousand, but you know, that's uh, it's hard during these times, right? But anyway, so far, so good. And I wanna take my SureFeed mag here. Did you guys notice the uh, classic branded mags that we were using, made in the USA there? Classic firearms. Black and yellow, black and yellow, right? Pretty cool stuff. So, I got one of my sure feed mags here loaded up with a few rounds. Let's just go ahead and take a couple more shots with our uh, <laughs> a Christmas story lamp leg, all right? And actually, it's the flat face brigade trigger, all right? Let's just go ahead and take a couple more shots with it here. And I just really want to feel that reset and everything. 
good trigger pull. Again, there's just no creep with the trigger pull, which I think is just awesome. They make it super easy to get those double taps off there, guys. That thing just feels good. That, and it looks good too, right? Let's just keep going here. Nice. All right. So Brigade now offering the drop-in trigger curved and flat. It's coming in at just under four pounds, which I think is or just right at four pounds, which I think is a optimal trigger pull weight. I'm a fan, guys. So happy that uh, we're able to offer these two because there's a lot of new gun owners to the market and a lot of y'all being new to the AR-15. And you might be getting a little tired of your mil spec trigger, which I totally get, right? I don't think they're bad. I mean, they do their job. They're great duty tri type triggers and things and a, just a basic tr trigger. But if you're looking for an upgrade, you might want something a little bit more simple to install. Well, there you go. The Brigade triggers, easy to drop in. You don't need any other extra tools. It comes with everything you need, including the Allen wrench for the set screws and some blue Loctite. It, they can't make it much easier for you guys other than installing it themselves. Well, maybe if you ask nicely, they will. I don't know. But anyway, <laughs> uh, that is today's video on the Brigade Manufacturing Trigger. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments section. Are you eager to pick one up and give it a try yourself? I'm keeping that one, so, you know. Sorry, Brigade, I'm, I'm keeping that. But uh, anyway, guys, our current giveaway is this little guy right here. And also another little guy, which I'll show you in just a moment. But this one, this is the SIG MPX Copperhead. And yeah, I threw a vo <laughs> Vortex UH-1 on it. The optic, I get it. The holographic sight is about as big as the gun, but it looks good. It has a great sight picture. And uh, man, it just it's fun to shoot, all right? Super fun to shoot. Who doesn't love just a little nine millimeter pistol caliber carbine like this guy here, all right? And uh, you might also know a very legendary revolver that we're giving away. In fact, let me just show you. Now y'all wanna see a good trigger. The Colt Python trigger, double action. Try it left-handed here just so you guys can see, all right? Double action. Gosh, that is smooth. That feels really good, right? And then single action, I mean, four. Oh, that is awesome. <laughs> yeah, for the video all about triggers, that is one that definitely needs to be shown. Oh, it is beautiful. And yeah, Copperhead, Python, figured we make it a snakes type giveaway. So uh, there you guys go. Get your entries into classicfirearms.com for yes, one winner gets a Colt Python and the SIG MPX Copperhead. It's a good day, right? Absolutely. So classicfirearms.com, hit that top banner. It'll show you all the different ways to get your entries. And uh, code word for this is quite simple, snakes. Don't forget, there's two S's, snakes. One at the beginning, one at the end, all right? Just don't mess it up. I got faith in you guys. Guys, again, I'll see y'all down in the comments section. Go check out Brigade Manufacturing, all of their products, and of course now the new triggers we offer. God bless you guys, and we'll see you soon at ClassicFirearms.com.